I know exactly what Mel Gibson is going through because, like I said, Russian women are different than American women. In the, one of the reasons is the way they fight. Okay, now I learned this early on that when the wife gets upset, it's like a hurricane, and you know that hurricane is going to hit. So what I started to do was to leave the house, get in my car, get the hell out of there. Well, no, no, no. That's not how the game is played in Russia. When the wife gets really emotional like that, and I guess most Russian women do this, they are going to blow up and scream and scream and scream at you for I don't know how many minutes. But they want you right there listening to it. It's even worse if you leave. And once they get over their little rant, for whatever reason, then they calm down, everything's fine until, well, the next 15 minutes when they find some other, something else to get upset about. Anyway, my wife was telling me that, that there's a Russian scam going out around where, of course, you get this guy, he's a loser from somewhere, you know, he's 30 years old and bald and lives in his mom's basement and he's going to go over and get this this Russian bride and he's going to uh, wine her and dine her and bring her back to America and and she's going to love him and la 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 well and this is a this is a true story too and this happens happens more than once this girl was a very good looking blonde Russian 19 year old girl I mean she was smoking hot and the the uh, bald guy met her on the internet and decided that he would go over and see her so through much correspondence and you know he wanted to marry her and all this so what happened is he went over to see her and he met the parents and and everything and he wined her and he dined her and finally convinced her to come back to America and marry him. All right, well, this is, and the guy doesn't know he's being played. All right. <clears throat> I imagine this story could be truthful, but, I mean, it could happen, but it's a scam. Anyway, the girl comes back to America with him. And he goes out and buys her brand new clothes, watches, jewelry, shoes, um, all kinds of material things, okay? Because it's going to be his wife, right? Well, lo and behold, like I said, this, ha this has happened more than once. The girl gets a call from Russia. Her mother has been hit by a hit-and-run driver. And she must immediately go back and look after her. And as soon as the mother gets well, that she's going to fly right back and marry him. Well, the guy says, that's, that's uh, totally understandable. You care about your mother and this and that. So the young lady takes the money. She takes the clothes. She takes every bit of material goods that the man bought her and takes them back to Russia. Well, a month was, goes by, and the poor slob calls her up and says, well, when are you coming back, and this and that. And, and the girl goes, oh, I'm sorry, i I got to take care of my mother, and, and she's an invalid, and I really don't think it would work out anyway. You know, but thanks a lot, and you're a really nice guy, and I hope you find the right girl, and, and, and there, there, that's where the scam is. Now, who knows how many times... The girl has done this. But, you know, people do what they can to survive. It's just these American men who think that they are God's gift to women and the universe that go to these countries and think that just because of their presence that all these women are going to drop at their knees and, and worship the water they walk on, which isn't the case. 